good morning dear students today we will continue the questions of chapter 4 yesterday in part 1 we discussed about the mcqs type questions fill in the blanks matching type questions true false questions okay so we will continue with uh, more questions today let's start very short answer type questions of chapter 4 class 7 question number 1 is in a mercury thermometer the level of mercury rises when its bulb comes in contact with an with a hot object what is the reason for this rise in the level of mercury what is the reason for this rise in the level of mercury as temperature increases then the expansion in the mercury takes place which causes the rise in the level of mercury in the thermometer got it whenever there will be rise in temperature the mercury will rise okay got it dear students let's move to next question now Shopkeeper selling ice blocks usually cover them with jute sack, sacks, sack, okay? Explain why, explain why, answer is, as we know, jute is a thermal insulator, okay? It helps ice not to be melt immediately. So, the shopkeepers used to cover ice blocks with jute sack okay next question the radiators in the cars are painted black why okay a uh, radiator is basically used to remove the heat or whatever heat is being produced by the engine of a car or other vehicle it is it is used to remove the heat produced over the air. So why it is painted black? Let's study. Since the black bodies are better radiators, so due to this reason, radiators in the cars are painted black. Okay. Since the black bodies are better radiators, they radiate in a more radiations of heat. So that's why they are painted black. Okay. Let's move further. Now, question number four. To keep her soup warm, Paheli wrapped the container in which it was kept with a woolen cloth. Can she apply some method to keep a glass of cold drink cool? Give reasons for your answer. Obviously, there will be a provision to keep the uh, cold drink glass cool. Okay. Yes, she can apply same method to the glass of cold drink cool. Okay. Because, because, because wool is a thermal insulator and it cannot allow the heat to pass through. So definitely you can... Uh, use some woolen clothes also in, in over there because we all know wood wool is an indie insulate insulator of heat okay it will not allow the passage of heat through them so let's move to next question question number five a laboratory thermometer a is kept seven centimeter away on the sides of the flame while a similar thermometer B is kept 7 cm above the flame of a candle flame of a candle as shown in figure which of the thermometers A or B will show a greater rise in temperature give reason for your answer Obviously, thermometer B will show greater rise in the temperature because heated air 
above the candle rises immediately immediately and increases the temperature of the bulb of the thermometer b more quickly than thermometer a okay whenever we all know whenever heat will whenever air will be heated it will starts moving upward because the lighter air it will move upward and as a result of that when it comes in contact with the thermometer bulb it will increase the temperature of the thermometer B in comparison to thermometer A. Question number 6. While constructing a house in coastal area, in which direction should the windows preferably face and why? Very interesting questions. Whenever you construct a house in coastal areas, what should be the direction of windows and why the windows should preferably towards the sea beach so that the sea breeze coming from the sea keeps the house cool during the daytime got it because the sea breeze moves during the daytime and the land breeze moves during the night time okay so for allowing the sea breeze to enter in the house, the windows, windows preferably should face the sea beach. Okay, let's move further. Now see this question. A circular metal loop, metal loop is heated at point O as shown in figure. Question is. In which direction would heat flow in the loop okay you can see in the diagram of also circular loop is being heated at point O and in which direction the heat will flow in the loop heat will flow in both directions from O to P as well as from O to R also okay in which order the pins at the point P Q are fixed with the help of wax fall if points O P Q and R are, are, are equidistant from each other first of all the pin, pins at point P and R will fall simultaneously after that the pin Q will fall because the heat will move from point O to P and R at in the at the same time and then from P to Q and R to Q also it will take same amount of time to arrive there then later on the pin Q will fall okay next question <coughs> now question number eight the mercury does not fall or rise in a clinical thermometer when taken out of mouth explain why because of the kink present in the thermometer because of the kink present in the thermometer which do not allow which do not allow the mercury to fall or rise immediately when you take out the thermometer from the mouth okay okay dear students Got it. Let's move further. If a pen is removed from the fire, then why does it cool down? Very easy to understand. When a pen is removed from the fire, it loses heat to the surrounding. Whatever amount of heat the pen is having, it will be, it will be uh, transferred or lost towards the surrounding by the process of radiation and it cools down okay because we all know heat flows from high temperature to low temperature higher will be the temperature of pen when it is just removed from the fire and the temperature of the surrounding will be lower so it will lose heat to the surrounding by the radiation and it cools down okay name the mode of transfer of heat in which medium it is not required 
in which medium is not required answer is radiation is the mode of transfer of heat in which there is no need of medium also same we discussed in our class also that the radiation the method of radiation for the heat transfer do not need or require any medium okay let's move further now is uh, it is preferred to use two thin blankets rather than one thin thick blanket explain the reason normally hum do patle blankets ko use karna prefer karenge na ki ek single blanket ko kyun in case of two thin blankets there is an air gap which does not allow the heat to pass out from the body and it is not such as in case of a one thick blanket whenever we will use two thin blankets the air that got trapped between the blankets will remain as it is and it do not allow the body to lose heat do not allow the body to lose heat and this is not possible in single blanket okay let's move further why it is advised not to hold the thermometer by its bulb while reading it because because it can affect the actual reading first of all it is not advised or suggested to hold the thermometer bulb while reading a it as the level of mercury increases from the actual reading by our own body temperature got it because the uh, temperature will be or the heat will move from our body to thermometer also so the actual observations will not be done over there next question is explain how we find out how hot an object really is very easy agar hame kisi bhi object ki hotness aur uski coldness ka measurement karna hai to hame kya karna padega hame ek thermometer ko pick karna padega and by using that thermometer we can easily measure the hotness as well as the coldness of an object okay is the body temperature of every person 37 degree celsius very interesting question okay no the uh, body temperature of every person is not 37 degree celsius it is an average temperature it is an average temperature it could be slightly higher or slightly lower that will depend upon person to person okay but uh, we consider 37 degree celsius as an average temperature so it can be slightly higher or it can be slightly lower okay so let's move further this question how can we measure the temperature of an object rather than human body the temperature of other object is measured with the laboratory thermometer because the clinical thermometer is not suitable for the measurement of higher temperature got it okay are you uh, agree with me we we need to use laboratory thermometer basically the, the laboratory thermometer is having higher range of measurement for temperature in comparison to a clinical thermometer the, okay so the clinical thermometer will not be suitable for measuring higher temperature next question how does the heat travel in air very easy the heat travels in air through the method of convection got it we studied about three modes of heat transfer 
वन वाज कंडक्शन सेकेंड वन वाज कन्वेक्शन एंड थर्ड इज रेडिएशन ओके वी आर एडवाइज टू यूज एन अम्ब्रेला वेन यू गो आउट इन द सन कमेंट We use an umbrella to protect us from heat coming from the sun in the form of radiation. Okay, that's why we use it. Basically, umbrella will do one thing: it will become a barrier in between us and the sun radiation. It will protect us from the harmful radiations. Okay, as well as the heat radiations also. so that's why we use umbrella to protect ourselves next question you may have noticed that a few sharp jerk are given to clinical thermometer before using it why is it done so aap jab bhi kisi doctor ke paas jate hain aap dekhte hain ki doctor thermometer ko पहले दो से तीन बार उसको जर्क देते हैं उसको हिलाते हैं उसका प्रॉपर टेम्परेचर सेट करते हैं उसको ऐसा क्यों करते हैं वो द जर्क आर गिवन टू क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर बिकॉज यूजिंग इट टू सेटल डाउन द मर्करी लेवल बिलो नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर यूजिंग इट टू सेटल डाउन द मर्करी लेवल बिलो नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर सो दैट द मेजरमेंट taken by the body will be accurate okay if you will use directly the thermometer as it is just after taking from uh, the kit and then it may be possible that the mercury level may be below may be higher it will not be at its reference point or particular point that can cause an error in the measurement of temperature of the body okay that's why the jerk are given before using to settle down the mercury level okay got it dear students okay my dear students today uh, we completed the second module of this chapter this chapter heat chapter number 4 and we have covered around 19 questions today so learn and write all the questions in your notebook that will help you to understand the concept of heat and mode of transfer of heat in a much better way it will definitely going out to help you thank you dear students take care bye bye